Okay, so this is my new setup. I'm going to go through it in all detail uh, later, but now I'm just going to show you where I'm going to sleep. So this is where I'm going to sleep. So this is my new bed. And this plate here is uh, removable, so if I need to use the rear sheet, I can just remove this. But yeah, X bed, uh, mountain blanket underneath, uh, over the X bed and underneath the sleeping bag and then the sleeping bag. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be comfy. Just wait two seconds. Okay, so I'm back and the bed is ready. It's a bit difficult to get in there. Uh, and also a bit difficult to get in there. It's possible, but it's, I want this up during the night. So uh, the first person is here. So that's the general, no, the genius design of the Discovery. You can drop the, the, the chair and then pivot it forwards. And now I can walk into my bed. Cozy. Perfect. Okay, so yesterday I ripped out everything because I'm going to put in some drawers and I want to utilize the area underneath here as well. Uh, but then today I just realized, yeah, I need, <laughs> actually need a plate to put on top and I don't have it at home. So uh, that's what I'm going out to get now. It's already half five so it's uh, it's pretty dark already um, so that's gonna be different from the spring trip that we were on uh, it's gonna be dark I think around maybe half six and then after that it's just gonna be pitch black so it's gonna be nice to check out how the roof rack will work I think it's gonna be good getting some max racks up there and keeping all the dirty things up on the roof now let's get that plate so I can get my um, drawers in. I like this place, you can drive in, do everything you need. Let's see if we can find the right one. Noops, noops, maybe. Maybe too thin. So I had to cut it about 180 and it's, uh, it's 120 wide. So I'm not gonna force it down. It's gonna wait until I get home and then cut it to, to fitment. Luckily, my wife made waffles, so I'm all set for a long evening in the garage. Okay, just a quick update. So just putting in the drawers just to mock up where I want them. And now I just see that uh, I actually want the long one on this side. And the reason for that is that the short one only goes about here. Uh, and the edge here, I can get closer if I'm here. So if I pull out the long one here, I still am um, a bit away, uh, far away. So I have to bend, <laughs> have to bend over. Um, but if I move it over here, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be much closer to uh, to uh, the drawer. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna move it around. And also, I figured since I'm sleeping on this side. So I'm sleeping on this side, the longer um, draw is gonna be a better support for the plate, which is going to be all the way forward. So yeah, moving that around and then continuing. So I think I have it. Uh, I started with placing the, the two uh, draws in the middle or symmetric with uh, equal spacing because my head and my OCD just want to look look uh, symmetric but uh, 
then I thought if I put everything on one side I can have room for uh, the Weber and other stuff if I need something long to go all the way all the way into the front um, I can now I'm just gonna take everything out cut some wood and then hopefully it will be in in a couple of hours and uh, yeah we'll show you then this beam is going to be bolted down into the car also the beam at the back then I'm gonna put the two wooden plates on top And then I'm going to mount the drawers directly to the plates. Uh, they're going to be lifted up so I can get underneath here. So I can use the space underneath as well. So far so good. Just continue and then uh, yeah, get it done. Okay, so, so far really happy with this. Happy with choosing uh, to have a long drawer here. So you can see I'm standing next to this and I can reach here without bending. And uh, yeah, so this is geared. And now I have a space between here so I can reach in and get stuff. Uh, maybe need to make it a bit bigger, uh, but I'm thinking of making a hatch or something just here so that I can pull this up and then get underneath uh, yeah we will see we will see but uh, continue on let's see <laughs> what's the time yeah so it's uh, it's uh, it's midnight and uh, I'm still here I'm guess it's gonna be at least two more hours before I can go to bed but uh, yeah this is really fun and uh, yeah finally building my overland, overland rig so uh, yeah just gonna push on and uh, yeah keep watching yeah I'm not moving backwards I uh, just marked everywhere I need to uh, to drill holes so I'm gonna use this let's see focus so we're going to do a hole for these and push them in from, uh, or hammer them in from underneath. This way I can bolt uh, the drawers down into the plate. Noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's one in the morning, so I, I understand. Done. So the bolt holes lines up uh, pretty good. I can get the bolts in all of the front ones, uh, which is great. Uh, but before I start bolting it down, I need to uh, mount the plate to the, the crossbars so that are running underneath. Okay, just a short update before I uh, go to sleep. Uh, uh, plate is mounted to the crossbars, the shell uh, of the drawers are mounted to the, the plate itself 
Uh, so now it's just figuring out how I'm going to sleep, but that's going to be tomorrow because uh, it's uh, it's half two in the morning, so it's time to uh, to go to bed. So yeah, see you in the morning. Okay, it's first day in the evening, and yeah, should have been on uh, on our trip now, uh, but uh, we decided, me and Erdogan decided to postpone until tomorrow morning, Friday morning, and because yeah, it's just it's still got too much, too much to do. Uh, I got I had to uh, finish up the video, uh, Overland video, which is releasing to f on Friday tomorrow uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, it's the EGR valve overlanding, the overlanding in Norway, May 2021. There was an issue with that one, which so I have only exported like half of it. So I have to re-export it and upload it and make it ready and everything it took a long time. Also had to build the bed, finish up in here. You can see how that looks. Looks pretty good. And yeah, so I also I had to pick up some t-shirts, new t-shirts for this trip. Uh, making t-shirts for each trip now. Uh, so that it will be unique for those who joins the trips. Uh, but yeah, uh, we decided we had both a lot of stuff to get done before we can set it on the trip. And also the whole point of this is getting it organized. And I actually really like organizing in the car, putting stuff where they should be and I wanted to enjoy that. So I don't want to be rushed and just throw everything into the car. I wanted to enjoy that. So that's why I agreed on let's just wait until tomorrow morning and then yeah, we will start tomorrow morning. Okay, Eric and uh, host Eric just called. So uh, yeah, just talking about the trip. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you how I did with the sleeping. It's just a platform. Uh, super simple. Let's see here. Uh, and yeah, it's mounted on up underneath there. Hard to see without the light. Let's see, you can do like so. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can see here, so I can just twist it off uh, if I want to. And one of the best parts is all my like stairs up into the area here. So uh, if I go around, do it like this, let's see. Two seconds, I can just, hello, walk in and yeah, I can either sit here if I want to uh, or yeah, or I can go all the way up into the sleeping platform, uh, but that's um, It's not high enough <laughs> in the roof, the roof, so I'm gonna sit like that. So I'm not gonna use use that. But yeah, basically I, I can use this area as a living area. If and if I really want to, I can remove the the seat as well, so I have a bit better room here. Um, but I'm not gonna do that now. Yeah, nice. I don't have no clue how to pack this, so I'm just gonna bring everything out here and then just start packing and see if it works, if it not works, and then using this trip to find out what works and what do I need and yeah, uh, and so on. So yeah, uh, a lot of stuff, real food, <laughs> tomatoes, yeah. So I got some basic stuff here, so I'm just gonna start filling up and then see how it turns yeah, out. Yeah, just <laughs> hit the first problem. So I was uh, putting in and then realizing I need to put something down. So there 
What's some rubber the uh, matting sheets something uh, which was there before, uh, but it didn't follow along with uh, this one. So I need to find something to put in there. Maybe some uh, paper boards or something. I'm gonna see what I have and then use that because I cannot have. That's gonna annoy the hell out of me. So yeah. Yep. So problem fixed. Thanks to some packaging from uh, Prospeed. So thank you Prospeed. Um, I think this is gonna be good. Already is so sound dampening. So uh, yep, that is going to work. It's not pretty, but it's going to work. Let's see if I maybe use some rubber spray or something. Thick layer of rubber spray inside. Maybe that will be the trick. We'll see. Yes, time to make morning coffee and uh, checking out how the new system works.